Hey y'all, so I'm back. The whole process took about 45 minutes. Not bad. This is what it looks like after this. It looks crazy as hell. I'm just letting you know, see? <laughs> oh, it's like so stiff. I'm coming away. See? You're not supposed to touch it here, but I'm just to give y'all an idea. See? This is how it gets hard. Alright, so let me not move my head too much. I have this one little long piece sticking out. And I blow dry it. I did it on high. They say, I think it says medium heat. I did that sucker on high because I don't feel like it's doing this on it. Okay. Make sure I'm not going crazy. Alright. So now what I do, I'm trying to rinse the residue off my hand. I will tell you what I usually do. Usually I'll do this with no shirt on, because that way I can just hop in the shower and rinse it right out. Because obviously you can't move your hair. So I'm going to just rinse this out using a shower nozzle. But what I do first is you rinse with warm water for a while, let your hair get soft. Then I co-wash with Suave. I use this, one of their little conditioners. And then I use, dang, I have to turn it upside down for you. The Afogee Balancing Moisturizer. You use this after, let me keep it, I want to get it all the time. You use that afterwards. And Dermara. Yeah, if it balances all the business in your hair, it makes it like utterly soft. I love that stuff. It makes you feel like butter. But yeah. And then, that's, well, okay. Deep condition afterwards. I'm going to use my, which one am I going to use? My Curl Junkie. Curl Rehab Conditioner in Gardenia. That smells also fabulous. And um, because it's a good moisture set that I'd be good to use because it doesn't have protein in it. It's a very good moisturizing treatment. Because you need moisture after doing a protein trim like this. Now, for those of you that would like to read something, I'll post a link in my 5K. I have more explicit directions into using Apogee that I got from Miss Embrya on Naturally. Thank you, Miss Embrya. And um, I had posted that a very long time ago. She's the one that helped me in learning how to use this. But yep. So, like I said, this stuff is great to use. I didn't get any in my face. Thank God. I sure got all over my arms, but I kept rinsing my hands every time I put some in this section. But, um, yeah. So. Okay, some little cheapy conditioner. I rinse this stuff out, and then I'm going to twist using my probably use Kemet tonight. And some more of my Jamaica Black Castle oil because that stuff is the bomb. So, yep. That's it. It's not as hard to use as you might think. It's a little process, but I mean, anything worth having is worth working for, working with. But, um, yeah, that's it. So, I will see y'all later. I want to see another shot of my weird looking hand. Oh! It's like a helmet. Oh! It's like I have alien hair or something. Alright, um, yeah, so I'm done. I'll see y'all later. I have to twist this out and twist. Y'all know twisting takes me at least an hour, so. <laughs>